What's up? What's up? What's up? Moonlight. What's up, Big B? Angel. Kitty. Anthony. Sierra. Vero. Moonlight. Oh, man. This shit jumping. What's that say? Oh, man. That's not a regular name. <laughs> Yo, what's cracking with y'all? What's cracking with y'all? Look, man. Where everybody watching from? Where everybody tuning in from? I'm just going to hop straight into it. Where everybody tuning in from? Back in the house, always. What's up, Tyrone? Excuse me. Excuse me, I just burped all in y'all damn ear. <laughs> Got my kombucha busting. Look, I'm ready to go, y'all. I'm having an amazing day. I'm going to try to get through this. You know, um, you know, I got my little lady calling. Hopefully, you know, she don't hang up. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you know, that I'm all right today, you know. All right, so we got Charlotte in the house. We got Texas, Fayetteville, Ireland, Austin, bro. We worldwide, man. San Diego, Vermont. Damn, who the hell lives in Vermont? Like, you live there on purpose? Seattle, Maryland. Hey, you know what I'm saying? El Padre, Ireland, Bahamas. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, we got a good video tonight. Got a pretty good video tonight, man. We're going we gonna to get through this. And I'm telling y'all, brace yourself, man. Y'all going to see some, y'all about to see some shit. Some of the stuff we're going to breeze by because, you know, you know, the people out here watching, y'all. We got to stay on our P's and Q's when we do these videos. You know, we got to do it the right way. Look, let's get it. Sent a Tesla into space? Yeah. So he sent a Tesla into space and there was like a, a dummy in it. But look. Let me see. So this guy was watching it live stream because this was a live stream, right? Okay. Look what happened. Yo, look. Look how fake this is. Look. This Elon Musk. So he's watching, the, he's watching the Tesla live stream. Okay. Boom. You see that? Pause it. Look. Yeah. So pause it. You see the Tesla and the robot. Look where it is. Where is it? It's, is that, look, like, look, now keep watching, keep watching. Okay, okay. Space? What is this? Oh, wait, let me fix it. Let me unpause this. Look at this. Oh, no. All of a sudden, oh, in space. space. In space. How they do that? Uh, that shit was fake the whole time. Uh, that shit was fake the whole time. They faked the Tesla being in space, bro. <laughs> Y'all know how every time we see a kid in the black community that's like really bad or like super spirited, we always say it's silver teeth activity. Let me tell you I why I never heard that of that is. one. Let me tell you why we associate silver teeth with bad or low income kids. So basically there's been some dental offices in low income areas taking advantage of underprivileged kids and Medicaid. And they paid $23.9 million because of whistleblowers. Listen to this. Well Care of Georgia, managed by the state's Medicaid programs, found that a child treated by Cool Smiles was five times more likely to receive crowns and 40% more likely to have their teeth pulled or extracted compared to other dentists. That's where the silver teeth activity is coming from. The DOJ mm. claimed and proved between January 2009 and December 2011, Cool Smiles knowingly submitted false claims for unnecessary baby root canals, tooth extractions, and stainless steel crowns. But it continued after that, believe me. Cool Smiles is a massive nationwide corporation with more than 120 clinics catering to kids. I was a dentist and I saw unnecessary procedures, children being traumatized. I was stressed to my eyeballs. They're taking advantage of little kids. They were doing baby root canals on teeth that could have had regular fillings. I would hear children crying at work holiday meet dr michael greenwald an online job posting caught his eye cool smiles typically targeted recipients of medicaid i thought it was just wow this is a great idea we're treating children they're underserved we're gonna do some good unlike dr greenwald who had 30 years of dentistry under his belt cool smiles recruits were mostly young inexperienced dentists recent immigrants dr rye was one of them it was a dream job. What did they offer you as a starting salary? The total package was $180,000. But it was a deal 
with the devil. So what is your first impression when you start working at Cool Smiles? Production. Like a mill? Like a mill. It's chicken nuggets getting you, wow. produced down a conveyor belt. He says corporate owners dictated the work to be done. So each tooth went from a $30, $40 filling to a $500 gain. It was money. It was production. Dr. Greenwald says demands at Cool Smiles were dangerous. The faster you work, the sloppier you can get. I maintain some records of names, dates, procedures. Even after the lawsuit, Cool Smiles is still open today. It's so bad, children actually died from their procedures. You can watch the full whistleblower episode on Paramount Plus. You know what's, you know what's crazy about that is, man? Like, how many of y'all have been in this situation? I know even me, uh, they did this shit to me coming up and when I joined the military, yo. Like, they were doing experiments, and they had these new dentists come in. What's up, Zay? They had these new dentists come in. And, bro, I got so many feelings and shit in my mouth, but I'm telling y'all, bro, I know for a fact I didn't have cavities and stuff like that, but they replaced every tooth on my mouth, and they were doing experiments with these new dentists. And it was like that before I came in, too, as well. And it's weird. You know what's crazy about that is? What's even more crazy about this is that... When I went to a dentist outside of the military after I got out, they were saying that, yes, they were doing unnecessary stuff to your teeth. You know, so this is happening in a lot of places, man. Like, it's, it's, it's weird out here, man. You got to watch, you got to watch out for yourself. I don't want to get too deep into this one because you know it's involving, you know, certain people. Britney Spears has told close friends and staff that Prince William is a reptile who shifts between human and reptilian form during moments of heightened arousal. Wow. Mm. Explaining that she had a quote-unquote cyber <laughs> romance with Prince William before he was married, Britney Spears said she spent a lot of time emailing, chatting, and video calling William, and they even made plans to meet for a meal. He changed Brittany their arousal. canceled the dinner date after witnessing Prince William <laughs> shapeshift into a reptilian one too many times. Asked how many times is one too many. <laughs> Brittany replied You only got one time Close with me. and staff have been provided with photos and video evidence that Brittany says confirm her claims about William. But the video has obviously never been released. I don't think the royal family would let it get released. It's not just William. It's most of the royal family... All the royal family, not most, Brittany said, describing William as the color of dirty dishwater, a sickly gray color here that shine all over his body. I'm telling you, the guy is not human. Prince William shape shifted between this state and human form twice after introducing himself to her on video call. Brittany claimed she questioned her sanity at the time, especially after William became sweet and charming after shifting back to his human persona. But then it happened again, his face flashed between human and reptile. I could see his reptile teeth glistening in the light from the computer screen. Brittany told her friends and close associates that she believes William shapeshifted during their first video call as a show of strength and a warning not to mess with the dominant reptilian Illuminati bloodline of which he is a high priest. He was luring me into the cult but also warning me about a lot of the sense. way it was going to be, she said. That was too much for me to take on. I, I, you know what, though? Look, remember how I told y'all that uh, that people that they say, that oh, they're schizophrenics and they're crazy and this and that. I'm telling y'all, look, man, that's just crazy. If you look at it, man, it'd make a little bit more sense that she saw something and it, and it messed her up. And then everybody else is telling her that she's crazy, which is resulting in her behavior. You know, the cutting of the hair, acting crazy, and then they was controlling her money. She couldn't even spend her money the way she wanted to, all that shit. Think about it. Just, just saying, think about it. I'm not saying to believe it at all. Don't, don't, don't believe shit I say. Just, you know, interpret that yourself. Break that down yourself.
We back right here with Tupac, you know, just chopping up, chopping up a little bit. So I keep busting it up um, on the gram right now, but Nick, you know, <laughs> some I'll stuff. Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's definitely putting it down. One more thing about Death Row. Now, how does the, um, what's going on with Dre and how does that affect Death Row as a whole? No, hold on. Dre's doing his own thing. It don't affect us. My uh, take on what happened was that Snoop was on trial for murder, fighting for his life. To, somebody had said that Dre was in the car. The, the jury believed that. We needed Dre to be there to say he wasn't there. And once they would have saw him, they would have known he wasn't there. And that would have saved Snoop's whole case. Because they would have saw that the, the witness that had said it was lying. And Dre never showed up. He was too busy. That's how they told me. When they told me that, I was like, well, no matter how dope he is, and Dre's one of my heroes in the music business, but I was like, no matter how dope he is, if he's not down for his homeboy, Snoop brought him back when he was just a relic, when niggas was dissing him, you know what I mean? Then I don't want to be a part of him. I don't want to be around him or nothing. Plus, I feel as though what's done in the dark will come to light. It's secrets that everybody's going to find out about that I don't have to play a hate or draw snitch about. That will come out, you'll find out for yourself, and you'll know why I did it. I swear to God, y'all, I'm living by the rules of the game that y'all, the people, have put down for us to live by. Uh, that's real. Let's talk about other things like you told us you got to... Yo, they had to get rid of my and, guy, man. And they, he wasn't producing shit. Other niggas was producing the beat like on my album. Other niggas was doing the beat and Dre was getting the credit. And I got to go on MTV and be like, yeah, he did this, he did that. No, he ain't do it. He is a dope producer, but he ain't worked in years. And I got tired of that. I, I didn't think we needed that. I, I think we didn't need that. And he was owning the company too and he's and he chilling. <laughs> He owning the company, he's Look at that picture. House, sucking dick, eating pussy. I'm out here in the street, you know what I mean? Whooping niggas ass, starting wars and shit, putting it down, dropping albums, doing my shit. And this nigga taking three years to do one song. Ray is not coming today. Hey, why you acting like Ray won't be in today? All the homos will go home. Stop acting like that. Ray is not coming. Searching for paydays, no longer dr Ah oh, man. Great day. Oh, that's a copyright. Like a motherfucker. Hey, we can't, we can't, we all know what the lyrics is to the song, y'all. California love. Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. The results strongly support that these beings are not closely related to any known organism on Earth. Professor Korotkov and his team have discovered that the strange creature is female. Look at that shit. It's skin. It looks kind of like a lizard skin. And we're going to be taking samples in the next few minutes. I'm sorry. What, did you just say lizard skin? Oh, they said that shit. Like reptilian? Oh, they yeah. Don't say. Let's keep watching. These CT tomographies used a special program that allowed a more detailed examination of each layer of the bodies in a precise way that would be able to isolate certain areas for better examination. Who's Maria? Hey. Big one. And a very important Josefina, little creature. If we talk about Maria, she's human-like. First of all, details of her skull. Second, of course, fingers and toes. So on the skull, we see that she has no ears. Of course, it is elongated skull. Maybe not as elongated as we can see in Paracas. And then we see some parts of particle that may be related to blood. The most interesting for all of us was analysis of small bodies and uh, we had uh, CT scans of two bodies and now we know that there's a male and female and uh, we had a high resolution analysis of one of them their anatomy construction is totally different from ours no human beings no animals have type of bones as they have um, construction of their ribs is again totally different from any living creatures because for all living creatures we have this central ball their ribs are rounded and they have no this internal part absolutely different construction of skull and of course fingers and toes we don't uh, they don't have mouth as we do then uh, totally different uh, construction of ears they had ears just holes they had some holes on their skull that no living creatures have and of course detailed analysis in tomography allowed to see that it's not construction that it's one subject so it's clear that it's not composed of different parts it's one the same subject hmm, 
interesting. I wonder what it could be. We know. We know what it is. Hold on. It's not even connecting. They trying to call me in the middle of my live. Crazy. Not even time. <laughs> but look, let's let's hit this topic though right here. That's 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 they trying to throw me off. That's crazy, y'all. Uh, but y'all see that? Like you not? When, when have y'all seen this clip? Have any of y'all ever seen that clip? Is reasons to re is reasons why you have you you haven't seen that damn clip? Stuff like that is not going to be put out here on a Discovery Channel, put on all TV and stuff like that, bro, because they don't they don't want you to see that. They don't want you to see that. But you ain't getting the notifications. I appreciate it, though. Hey, you still made it here. Yeah. I'm going to uh, do something about those notifications. I'm going to, um, it's something that I can do to uh, get, every, get everybody notifications if they want them on an app. I set that up eventually, just not today. I got a lot going on. But yeah, they're trying to call me during my live, man. It's not even the time. Yo, I know y'all seen this, and if you haven't, well, here it is. Breaking news has been saying that a massive breakthrough as cancer vanishes from all patients after new drug trial being tested return in 100% success rate. 100% success rate? That's crazy. But y'all know what ain't crazy? They been discovered this, and y'all are crazy to believe that they haven't discovered this long before announcing it. The cure to cancer has been discovered, and I've been telling y'all this for a long time. Even according to studies, it takes clinical research and medical procedures 10 to 15 years to go through trial. That's only talking about regular drugs. We're not even talking about something as serious and as life-changing and as world-changing as a cancer treatment. This has been held from us for quite some time, but why release it now? Why even attempt to release something that could possibly take so much money from the 1%? Recently, they have been doing things that have been a little bit out of their character, and I'm starting to wonder what's really going on here. First, you have the sudden switch from population control to them wanting to boost the population with the push for bans on abortions and abortion pills. At first, they were just using man-made viruses to drop us off. So if y'all been following these recent string of events, y'all gotta be wondering, just like me, what is truly going on? It's mind-boggling to me. I do not understand what's going on right now. And this is why we all have to wake up now. We all have to see through the distractions. This may be one of them. There has to be a bigger plan unfolding. There has to be. And we can't let none of these distractions, such as these mad shootings, get us away from what's really going on. Because in the following days, following months, following year, something huge is going to happen. Because we all know the billions and billions of dollars that they will lose from this. If this is actually a cure that will be available to the public. So what is really going on? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Look, I could tell y'all what that is, but last time I talked about that, what they try to give you in return of the treatment. You know what I'm saying? I can't say it. <laughs> but look, you know, uh, I can't say it, but that's what it is. But um, wow. That's all you can say is wow, bro. And then you got people out here naturally killing people you know there's a lot of stuff that you could do naturally and that can kind of be tanking because people are actually waking up to you know to information that we've already had you know since the beginning of time for us you know We're trying to counteract it. i don't let i don't like that music and then it might be if i get copyright for that one bro for that trash music right there oh my gosh i'm gonna flip out <laughs> <laughs> that song with it ah, how dare you but yo they be capping over here though we all know that's that we all know that's bs they do it right in front of our faces and now we can just look at them like damn you know look at this shit you feel me Okay guys, so I was scrolling my Instagram news feed this morning and I saw this photo shoot that Beyonce did. And this was the photo that caught my attention. And instantly, revelations came to my mind. So I went searching and I found this. Revelation 6 verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red 
and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword yeah, that's the king james version um pay attention there's a different version for those of you who need better understanding so then another horse went out a fiery red one and its rider was allowed to take peace from the earth so that people would slaughter one another and a large sword was given to him Beyonce also did another photo shoot sometime around last year or I don't know but it was with a black horse and here's that photo shoot and if you guys want to know what the black horse represents um if you guys don't already know you can go to Revelation Y'all know the black horse represent? John chapter 8, verse I ain't telling y'all everything, man. Y'all got to know do y'all research. And the truth shall make you free. Your church denomination is a false religion. John Smith created the Baptist religion in 1608. Charles Parham created the Pentecostal religion in 1901. Joseph Smith created the Mormons religion in 1830. Charles T. Russell created the Jehovah Witness religion in 1872. 72. William Miller created the Seven Day Adventist religion in 1863. They're all man made religions. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. We are to obey God rather than man. Ask yourself this question How is it that in our neighborhoods there can be four churches on one block? In 20 years, nothing in the area gets better because God's not in them. Acts chapter 7 verse 48. That's because the pastors is riding around in Bentleys and on helicopters and shit while everybody else struggle. That's it. You feel me? And then look, I'm going to tell y'all the truth, yo. Look at, look at this. So they're just creating new shit for y'all to follow. So if y'all follow this stuff, it's just creating new things for you to follow. I knew as a child that this was wrong. I came into this world just naturally knowing. I grew up in a church. So you can't say I've read all these things. I know all about it. Family got a church in New York, bro, like, you know, so you can't come at me crazy. You know, they, they are actively in church. My whole family in New York just be at church, you know, they, they live, die by it, you know, but I always knew something didn't sit right with me because we were forced to read that shit from people that made us read that shit. Once you learn about slavery and everything else, just that alone to tell you about what you're supposed to be doing. It was something that I felt, I always questioned about that. But, so you got these different people that's creating different religions for you to follow. I don't have to say too much, do I? I'm just being honest with you. This ain't, you know, being discriminatory between nothing, but when you got people creating Bibles out of nowhere for y'all to follow then you know I got questions bro I'm not with it I'm not with it and then if you say oh we got the translated one that came straight from such and such well look at the people that translated it and then ask yourself another question when you buy these Bibles and stuff who getting that money from it it's all about money in control It is what it is. I get closer. It is what it is. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. You have been deceived. True religion is realignment with nature and the laws that govern the cosmos, which is simplicity and compassion. That's true religion. So I'm in the airport. I just took say a the blind leading the blind. From Atlanta to Toronto, and I specifically picked the window seat because I knew I get a chance to see a sunrise. As you can see, I'm looking very touristy with my P900, but what I recorded was one hundred. See, people, see, see, see some of y'all, you, you got to get right with yourself. So, somebody says, so you don't believe in God? I'm just going to let you bake by yourself, bro, with that one. Whoever said that, that was, it's not a question that you should ask me. 100% proof that the sun is not 93 million miles away, so check it out. So here's the video I took. As you can see, the sun is about to start rising and it's not even past the horizon. You can see the horizon in the background and the sun is gonna start rising through that thick layer of clouds right there. Now, if the sun was 93 million miles away, it would be rising at the horizon, not in the middle of the clouds right there. So I was at about 34,000 feet when I was recording this with my P900 and 
I don't see how that is possible if the sun is 93 million miles away. So, how is this possible on even a flat? I'm going to talk about, like, the Kanye West breakdown thing. is like, MK will yeah, break it down and, like, too. how he was waking up and they try to, like, fucking put his ass back to sleep. You know, because, um, you guys think, like, celebrities are like, oh, I want to be fucking rich and famous. But, like, do you have no idea that when you sign up for that shit, you're more of a slave than normal people? Because normal people can still do shit. The only boss you have is, like, your boss at work. But, like, celebrities, like, they have an illusion. Like, they're all free and stuff. They have all this money. But, like, literally, they can't do shit. That's why they have, like, star whackers. Because when you get out of line, like, they'll whack your ass, you know? Cause like they're they're providing you so much money and hey Zay, and all this shit. is that what y'all call them? Y'all is that what y'all call them? Star whackers? <laughs> that shit wild, bro. <laughs> Star whackers. Shit, let me know, bro. That you're literally you gotta do what they tell you to do, and if you step out of line like Kanye West, like how he was like you know supporting Donald Trump because his like mind control was breaking down, he was waking up, he was waking up out of his like slave, the puppet slave um, breeding that he's been through or whatever. Like like all the celebrities, like how I woke up a while back and I was like making YouTube videos like this, talking about all this, you know, the establishment, all that shit, and then like they try to like star whack my ass. I guess I could talk more about labor, but since I'm already kind of talking about it, I might as well just keep talking about it, huh? Yeah. So like if they're paying you that much money, like you gotta do what they they tell you you know what i mean like you can't you can you have a, a little bit of freedom for artist artistic freedom if that but then when you step out of line with the political stuff and like you start waking up and they see that oh shit they're coming to whack your ass fucking knock you over like pump you up with some fucking pills and like reprogram your brain because it's like oh shit his mk ultra is breaking down he's starting to speak the truth and he has like a huge following so they don't want someone like that to someone like kanye to like with that much influence to start waking up the masses you know what i'm saying like i i can talk about this shit because i'm not in that world anymore i don't have yeah, any contract. Answer that shit. i'm obligated to <laughs> fucking do shit i'm free and i left that world for a reason so like you know i don't have fucking paparazzi harassing me right now on the fucking street with me and my daughter like you know so life is really good for me politicians are clone bots okay i told you guys this a while ago when i said i travel blah 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 i come back to 3d earth and i said so weird i see like all these robots and zombies yada yada boom i get disclosure information i i was correct machine politician exposed george w bush is no human he is a clone president. America has no president. It has a series of look-like clone bonobo chimpanzees who are 100% remote controlled through the magnetic waves. First, intuition, face reading. These these people are the, the robots. Here, check this out. Listen to how slow he talks, like a robot. If I can show you his face, they're all robots. These are big changes. They represent a significant reform of our healthcare system since the passage of the They will save money. More robots on television while they air it's friggin creepy that's why when sometimes you see those uh, news reporters you think they're they're having like a, a seizure or something and we're kind of like laughing because they fumble on the news when they're stuttering that's actually a robot that's malfunctioning live on television okay the, it's not only in the white house i told you guys about the zombies and the demons senator nancy schaefer and her husband bruce were found dead today i'm convinced without a shadow of a doubt that our the Parents across this country need to be warned of the dangers of the child protective services nationwide. Tonight, GBI crime scene investigators are at her Northeast Georgia home. Department of Child Protective Services has become a protected empire. They're searching for clues that might tell them it's built on taking children and separating families. What led to the sudden and violent deaths of Miss Schaefer and her husband? A family is going to have to be destroyed in order for the uh, one will go parent uh, in a ruthless kind of behavior. How do you tame child protective services? It may be only by closing it complete and starting over at the beginning with pro-family values. We already know what those things are set up to do, man. They make a lot of money off of uh, this type of stuff, man. A lot of uh, children go missing. All that stuff, man. It's hmm. was it like over eight hundred thousand kids a year type thing? It's wild, bro. The reason why that uh, NASA says they show red is if you look at every image I told of NASA about this. that they show of Mars in the bottom corner, it always says 
false color. Mm. Every single one says, they tell you it's the false color. They say that they color it red because the reason they're, this is their reason why they do this is to save in data transmission to, 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 to process the image back here on earth. So they make everything red. No, the red hides everything. That's why they do this. Now, this is my uh, Celestron SLT telescope that I own. I got one. Uh, and this is my own image taken Such from America. the Celestron of Mars. This is a few years ago now uh, that I took. Let me see what year ago, I, what year I took this. I have to go back to the screen to do that. But this is probably five years ago, six years ago. This is Mars in the summer from Earth. You can clearly see blues, browns, greens. That's because Mars has life. And it's not just me saying this. Now NASA and other space agencies have finally come out and admitted that there's oxygen, there's a magnetic field, there's um, there's uh, gases in the atmosphere, there's cloud, there's rain, Message. and there's also billions of tons of liquid water, which they now have admitted to having. They even have come forward and said that the soil on Mars is better for growing crops than the soil on Earth, which is why all the billionaires are leaving to go to Mars. They're going to go to Mars not because it's a barren, dry rock, that they're going to live in a tin can for the rest of their life and leave all the creature comforts of their luxury lifestyle. <laughs> they're going there because the infrastructure is being built up there and has been built. Hey, hey, real talk. Didn't I tell you that shit before? That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely wild, man. Like, it. You, what are these people leaving? You think they leaving their rich ass lives to go be trapped in a box on another planet, bro? wow yeah like somebody said something somebody said fake <laughs> okay i mean if that's how you feel i'm not here to convince you i'm not here to convince you it's interesting believe what you want to believe you know but say, hey, hey man, look, you try to glance across that shit. I'm coming back to your ass, bro. Don't try to leave, nigga. Look. So is that what they call him? I know you ain't. I know you can't say too much, but you know what I'm saying. We can all see it though. We can all see what happened when people step out of line though. They about to start uh silencing um Kanye for sure, for sure, for sure. They can't control him no more. They can't control him no more. You said, I, I keep seeing that. This mana, how to demoralize nation reaction. Okay. All right. I'm going to look that up. I'm going I'm to do that on the next one. Hey, look. All he can do is laugh out loud. Look, I'm going to call your ass, nigga. Like, but we can... <laughs> Yo. But look, these videos aren't meant to convince anybody of anything, y'all. Y'all have to do the research on your own. This right here is just to, you know, get the topics, to get the conversation started. So if anybody, if you have questions, you got, you want to be in your feelings about something, please don't come at me with your BS, man, because you're in your feelings. You decipher if this is real or not. Now, if you want to be, shall I say, hmm, I don't want to be der derogatory. Look, I got certain people watching that be trying to, you know, I can only say so much on here. I'm being watched. Just put it like that. Yeah, once you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you speak, yeah, yeah. You got a lot of influence. Yeah, they try to quiet you for sure. Dre, spread false truths for the government. Okay. If that's what you want to believe, I mean, with your no profile picture and you want to be on here, you're on my live. Right? That means, you know, you're here for what? Yeah, that's somebody that's obsessed with me right there. That's what it comes with, y'all. Weirdos like that. People starting fake profiles of me. I mean, they've been doing that since before I even got on like uh, YouTube. People's they got profiles on Tinder and uh, plenty of fish, bro. Acting like me, all of this stuff, man. Then I get on here. People are trying to 
People are DMing people, acting like me. It's a dude, uh, was it Dre OG uh, 703? My shit is 704 on Instagram. And they acting like me, DMing women and shit, talking about some, yeah, I know this is, what this motherfucker say to somebody? <laughs> it's wild out here, man. It's wild out here, man. It's a bunch of weirdos. Why y'all gotta be so weird, man? Because I, I, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not the type of person you're gonna do that to in person. It's never gonna be that, man. I come in peace all the time. You can get a piece, though. I'm not the one. I'm not a, I'm not a five, five YouTuber, 120 pounds. No, I'm a grown man. Six, six foot plus. Six one on a good day. You know what I'm saying? And I've been trained in many, many, many different, you know, categories. So try your luck. Stop playing with me. Like I said, I come in peace all the time. You can get a piece. What 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 my man Dolph say? Don't play with me. Somebody finish it up. Play with yo. Yeah. <laughs> stop stop playing with me. Yeah, it's bottom chakra uh dwellers. Yeah, you know, bottom feeders out here. Your chakra, you still in your, you still, your, your chakra still in your ass. You still using that one. How do you feel about doing a video on very revealing lectures? That... Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my own. Definitely, uh, some, some, some breakdowns. Definitely behind the scenes. Look, man, I be up working. When I'm off of here, I, I I'm always working, y'all. I'm always I'm always searching for new information. I'm that nerd. I got a telescope, bro. I got all of this stuff, man. I really do this. I've been doing this all of my life. So this ain't just start out of nowhere. Been doing this all my life. I've been like this all my life. I've been able to see past all of the BS all of my life. Even when the rest of my family was following a certain narrative, I've always steer clear in my path and do what I was going to do, regardless of how they felt, what their beliefs were. I've always been this. You said we don't have to uh, stay woke. Our eyes been open. Have you heard about Elon Musk and his robot? Your thoughts? Um, no. What robot? What, what robot now? Shay, what robot now? I appreciate it. What, what, what robot now? What are we talking about? Yeah, what robot? Hold on. I'm about to get this dude up out of here. I mean, look, man, I try to let you live, man. Try not to be like that, bro, but, you know, you just lame as hell, bro. We got to get you up out of here. I'm going to put you in timeout, man. Hopefully you come back with a better attitude, man. Go stand in the corner, lame ass. Stand in the corner. Shut your ass up. But look, I don't know what robot. You talking about the one that uh, you talking about the sentient robot, the one that's feeling and shit. Oh yeah, this is something new. I I appreciate y'all bringing this to my attention. Nah, y'all got to give me information. Just like I be on here, y'all look. I'm always learning. Yeah, y'all tell his ass go stand in the corner, so he can he now he can just do nothing but watch. I'm, I'm 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 trying to learn from reading what y'all talking about. I'm gonna go look it up after this. Now y'all got my interest now, for real. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna put him in timeout, man. Look, it, he don't that part. These type of people, man, that come here. I've been doing this long enough to know, bro. That's just somebody that's overly obsessed and they want my attention. Without them saying outlandish stuff, I probably wouldn't even, you know, seen them because they don't add any value to the conversation that we having right here. So that's what some people do. They just be acting out, man. You know, it is what it is. We can't control it. 
you know, this social media thing has brought out a different type of person, a different type of person. You know, uh, the freaks came out when the Internet happened. You know, we was able to do this type of stuff right here. Those are the same type of people that are sitting in their crib. They're losers. They don't do nothing with their life. And they just be on some weird shit. Those are the type of dudes that don't know how to talk to women. Those are the dudes that you have to worry about. The creepiness. Those are the type of dudes that be laying in your bushes. Ladies, they won't do that to no men because they're scared of us. They're the cowards. That's the thing about men, you know. Some of these men, or boys, I say boys. Get on the internet and they want to just be no profile picture, no nothing. You just feel real comfortable. Introverts that have no life. <laughs> Tyrone Brown, keep it up. Keep it up, Dre. Appreciate the videos. Now, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Sure, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know, hey, my fellas on here, y'all understand what that is, though, right? When certain dudes be acting certain ways, we know the thing that they're really afraid of is being one-on-one -on -one in the room with us head-to-head. -head. They're terrifying. I say a good 80% of dudes don't want that type of action. That's why they out here shooting each other today. Niggas don't know how to fight. Don't know how to fight. You're coward. But us men, you know, that's why women out here having a hard time finding a man because most of these dudes be pussy. I'm just being honest. They do. They, 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 they lame. They ain't got no confidence. None of that, you know. But I, I think that, you know, we got to lead by example, man, and, you know, take care of our women the best as possible. Not saying that we perfect. None of that. We try to we try to be better. And that's what I'm going to do every day. I'm not a perfect person. I, I mess up. I'm not perfect at all. So I don't want y'all to think that, oh, Dre is just this amazing dude. No, man, I'm not just amazing all the time. I'm, I'm human, just like you. But we going, you know what I'm saying? We working on ourselves together, for real. You know, because I don't want people to be running away at that. Oh, he's just, look, look, look. Damn. Nah, it's probably more likes on the video than that. Everybody smash that like button. Yeah, get this stuff out there to the people, you know. I'm reading everything y'all saying. If I, I can't respond to everything, but I'm I'm reading. I can read very fast. I just can't read my country voice. That shit made me read slow for some reason. I don't know. Oh, PayPal is charging twenty five hundred for misinformation. I wish they would. I seen that. I wish they would though. They have a hell of a lawsuit. You know, we just got to use our brains. We can't get frazzled with any news that we hear with this stuff because it's always that's the same thing that they do when they come up with these little quote unquote rules that they do. They expect them for people not to read and read the law and stuff like that. We can always. You know, get at their ass. They can have a big lawsuit. They start doing that. They're going to go down. Simple. Yeah, we should have like 2.3K likes. Aboriginal TV. Okay. I looked that up. What's in the, uh, what's some other dope channels to look at? Look at you know. Because currently, right now, I'm vetting um, different speakers to come on the channel. So we're gonna do some interviews. I'm gonna get that man Zay on here, y'all. Y'all ready to get Zay on here? He be in the comments, yo. Look, I'm gonna ask you some questions though, bro. <laughs> Let's see if he can answer those shits. <laughs> Because we're going to bring this all in full circle, man. We're going to bring this all in full circle. 
Info Wars. Assassin lawsuit makes a big difference. Yeah. Ken Folk. Oh yeah, I know what channel that is for sure. Nineteen keys. Yep. Yeah, that'd be definitely dope. Oh man, you said Bob. Oh man. Look, they don't want that dude on the internet, do they? Oh, he said he gonna be open, y'all. Hey, Zay said he gonna be open. Bet. Bet. Yaki, yeah, man. He definitely on the list. One thing I can say about that, brother, man, like, that's why I tell y'all, do y'all research, man, because it's a lot of things that y'all can do. Just like these, just like the men that built that machine, we all have our place here. Like, find your purpose, man. Like, the dude that created the machine that, you know, cr that, that, that brings water from the atmosphere, and he's giving people clean water. He's putting these machines in places that, are, what are people that need water? Like, the dude that created the engine that runs on water as well, you know? We got all this clean energy. We got all these things, man. Start to invent. If you think, don't think that your idea is stupid, man. You might make that shit come to life. And now you the next, you know, Tony Starks type dude, you know? Believe in yourself. Yo, Rogan, he ain't never gonna come on here. This is probably beneath him. Billy Carson. That's the, yeah. Young Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got some good ideas, and that's this is dope. This is dope. Most of these people I already know about, uh, I already got them on the list for sure. You said Dreo Dre OG 84 they, they made another profile of me? <laughs> no, it's not. Hold on, let me go. Hold on, hold on, let me go. Hold on, hold on. Let me, bro, they not on here doing that. Hold on. No, they not. Let me see. Oh, man, it's a bunch of people just making these shits now. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. After I posted, uh, oh, look, this is the fake. This is the page right here, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Yo, we got to get this joint gone, G. Like, that's crazy. I'm gonna show y'all what he said, though. I'm gonna show y'all what he said to somebody. He be, he be damning people. But I do this right here. Fuck it. General. What'd he say? Can I go to the other one? Hello. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all see that? He sent that shit to somebody, man. It's weird out here, man. He said, hi, pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even sound like me. Oh, hi, pretty face. I know this is like a dream to you. Who says that shit? My pretty fan. <laughs> what? He sounds like, bro, that's creepy. Thanks for your likes and comments on my page. I sincerely appreciate you, kissy faces.
You feel me? That shit wild, man. That shit be wild, bro. Hey, man, if y'all ever get contacted with a profile picture of me, man, that shit ain't me, man. It ain't come from my goddamn my page, bro. That's not that's not me, man. And then these people like on here, bro, they can make fake messages and, and make it look like it came from my profile too. That's the, it's just wild. It let anybody get on the internet and be doing stuff. Some of these people need to be checked out. Elon Musk, Optimus. I can't. Crazy content. Cover. It's really wild out here. Pretty face though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These, hey, they, hey, they out of line though, man. Like, I don't I don't get it. It's weird, y'all. It's weird. So look, if y'all can, if y'all can, follow me on uh Instagram. And then the next step is get his ass. Please report this. Because some people are probably going, some people might actually fall for that. And then, you know, you got somebody out here trying to scam. It's crazy, man. You know, praying, praying on people. Got to get Flat Earth. Oh, yeah, you're right. Flat Earth Dave on here, bro. That dude is funny. That dude is mad funny. You say, you say, I create fake pages as well. And you do stuff like that. You do that to me. Nigga, what? I'm confused. Is Dre OG underscore uh 703? My shit is 704. You know how many like my I got like 39,000 uh uh followers on there. The other page got like 30. And for the people that follow that page, y'all don't know that that y'all don't think that that was weird. Is and uh, other yeah, I seen that on there. I got it in mind. I'm gonna look. I'm, I'm gonna pull it up on the uh, on my tabs after I get off of here. You only cherry picking, folks. I ain't got a profile pic. I ain't on here. Amy. You said 703 sounds better? How's that sound? That, it's an area code. 703 don't sound better than 704. <laughs> Stop playing with me. They love you as hell. Oh, look at somebody. <laughs> Fake profile sent me a weird message when I follow Yaki. Oh, dang. Yeah, they be on it, too. I think they might be bots, y'all. You said, is they ready? Yeah, yeah. We're going to set it up. I'm going to call them first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I appreciate y'all. Look. I ain't gonna have. I ain't gonna do the call in tonight. I'm gonna set up Zay. I'm gonna set up a uh, interview with Zay and them. Hopefully, we can get some other people on here. Zay, you got some other folks, man, that'd be willing to come on here. Uh, just message me, bro. Like, I'm trying to get this shit rolling ASAP. I'm setting up a uh, facility too, where I wanna uh, actually do like in person ones as well. You know, super high quality, TV show quality type thing. Shit, y'all niggas contact Diddy. Let's do it on uh Revolt. Shit. Yeah, but look, I I holla at y'all. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Take care of y'all families. Take care of yourself. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head up. Keep grinding. You know, don't feel bad no matter what situation you in, man. We all can do whatever we want to do with our lives, man. Just make the best out of it while we while we here. You know, 
make sure y'all got those notifications on and i'll see y'all tomorrow you know shit we gonna stay on this consistency is key y'all consistency is key never give up this shit ain't come overnight love y'all and i'm out